guys, welcome back to my channel. We're starting off with brows. I'm just going to quickly go through this because I do brows almost every video. So I'm using the Precisely My Brow Pencil just to fill it in. And then the 24 Brow Setter by Benefit Cosmetics as well to set. To conceal, I'm using Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey with a flat brush. And I'm just going to blend that out and sharpen and clean the brow up. I like to completely extend it, bring it down, and then I love to just take my finger and just blend it out so it blends right into the skin super naturally. Nice and sharp. To prime the eyes, I'm using Painterly Paint Pot, as always, with a P86 brush by Sigma. And we're really going to pack it on, making sure that the entire eye is covered all the way towards the tail of the brow. Making sure it's nice and creamy because we are going to build a lot of eyeshadow. Using the Morphe Dare to Create 39A palette, which is probably one of the most amazing palettes I have used lately. I'm going to be taking Sunder and I'm going in the crease with a 224 brush. This is going to be our transition color for the most part. Um, I'm starting with this as a base because we have a long road of blending ahead of us. So I want to just start with a soft brown to blend out. Now using an M514, I'm taking Stroke, and I'm just going to start to deepen the crease area and kind of follow the bone of my brow and make that curve and follow the bone structure of the eye. Now taking Expression, I'm going in deeper and just going in that crease again, making a little bit more dimension with the same brush, blending this out. You guys see my lips moving because... When I film these, um, I usually film every Thursday, I film the live glam tutorials too, so I kind of do, you know, two in one. So I'm just going to blend this out with a 224, going back and forth with the Morphe M514, blending back and forth, and we are just making a nice blend of all these colors. So when you feel like that is blended out enough, we're going to go in with a dark Actually, this is a black. It's not even a charcoal. Um, we're going to go in lightly with this because, you know, black does not forgive. So we're going to start off light and then increasingly go in back and forth with the same brush. I'm not moving up. As you notice, I'm staying down, even going towards the lid because we are going to cut with some concealer. So don't worry if it gets a little messy on the lid because we're going to clean it up. So I'm just going back and forth with that brush and then the 224 and just blending, blending, blending it out. And using this black kind of just sharpens things up. It, uh, especially when you cut with the concealer, it just kind of makes it nice and deep and dimensional and really, really brings uh, some dimension to that cut crease. Now I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape again, looking up so I know where to cut. And I'm using the Cut Crease Brush by Sigma, which is probably one of the top brushes that I recommend, especially when you're just learning for cut creases. And you can see that I kind of covered most of the black. I didn't realize how high I was going to cover, but I actually like when the cut crease is super high on the lid, just because I feel like you could see the glittery shadow that we're going to cover with um, so much better, and it just looks a lot cleaner. And I hate when cut creases are just like too short. I remember when I used to do them, they used to be super short in the eye. You would never be able to see like the glittery part of the eye, and it was very disappointing. So I'm just using as much eyelid space as I can, and we'll go back in with the black. But again, I wanted to put a little black in there so I did have a nice deep outline. As you can see, I do have somewhat of an outline here. And I'm going back in with that brush and just kind of lightly tapping on that line. I'm using Spark, and I'm taking the cut crease brush that I used because it's basically clean. I'm wetting it too with the uh, Prime Spray by Smashbox and just doing a little bit of swiping motions and then dragging down so it gives me the most pigment. So I'm starting that in the inner corner and then I'm going to be taking So Glam, that pine green color, and I'm going to be bringing it all the way up to where we cut. And I also wet the brush again just to make sure that this was super, super creamy going on. Morphe shadows are usually very creamy, but sometimes I like to just add that little extraness with the wetness of the brush. Now I'm going in with Snatched and E58. I also wet this brush. And I'm going towards the tail end of the cut crease and putting that right there. And I'm blending it back and forth 
uh, with So Glam as well. So it's not super, super crazy and it's nice and blended out and faded. And I actually was super random with this. I didn't know that this was going to happen, but it kind of just happened. And I actually really liked the way it came out. I saw this beautiful green and I saw this red that I've never seen before in a palette. So why not? And I'm going back in with a pencil brush, taking that dark brown. I think I use Expression. And then I'm going in back with the black as well, called Muse. Going back and forth and kind of sharpening where we cut. And now I'm using this shader brush, this E47, and I'm going back and forth and blending this line, making sure it's super, super soft, as soft as it can be because black is unforgiving and you know when you're putting a lot of colors together like this it could be really really hard to blend so I go back and forth a lot with the black and the brown making sure that it's super cut and clean for the most part. I'm using Kat Bundy's tattoo liner and just doing a simple wing following the entire line of where the cut crease goes and just blending that down towards the lid. Sometimes that's an easier way to do it, to do the wing first and then follow through with the rest of the line. So I'm just going to blend that in, make it a little bit thicker on the outer end and just completely fill that in. I like to take the Q-tip as well. The point of Q-tips are just, they save lives and just clean up that line. I'm using the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara, which I love, and I love that they put my little name on there. So cute. And I'm just going to put these lashes up to the heavens. You can see I'm going back and forth blending, making sure everything is nice and clean. I have to say, though, I'm proud in the way this came out and how I like envisioned it because I envisioned it you know, to be like super messy in the beginning. So the fact that it came out this clean, I was actually pretty proud. Again, like, I don't know everything. I'm still learning as I go. So I appreciate that, you know, you guys are here learning with me. And I always try to challenge myself with these tutorials. So I put out, like, the most challenging tutorial I could. As, as long as I'm happy with it and happy with the results, I love to just show you guys what I came out with. For lashes, I'm using Gianna Lashes by Gigi Bell Lashes. These are our best seller. Please get your hands on them if you haven't already. They are probably the best style that i created so far. I'm popping these on with some Puda Beauty glue. And I didn't want to go crazy with lashes, so I picked these because they just are perfectly fluffy. They don't cover the eyeshadow, and they don't look crazy. I'm using the Smashback Primerizer, which I absolutely love because I can get lazy with um, some moisturizer, especially when my desk is a mess. I happen to misplace that a lot. I'm using Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation in Tan with an F80 brush by Sigma, just blending that all out. For concealer, I'm using a medium shape tape, obviously. And I hope you guys are entering my giveaways on my Instagram. I will put the links below as I blend out with this Japanese sponge. I'm just going to explain the giveaways I've been doing 12 days of Christmas. I hope that you guys have caught that. If you guys do follow me on Instagram, um, I'm doing one every day. There are about two days left. I'm choosing one winner today for day 10 and then I have two days left. So I really hope that you guys, you know, enter them because these last two days are gonna be huge. To contour, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in Deep. I'm just contouring this. I love using the applicator with this. It just makes everything so easy. Also, just wanted to mention, um, I'm going to be putting the links for the giveaway down below. It's really just on my Instagram. If you just want to click my Instagram, um, it's really just right there. And you guys will see it. And you'll be able to enter from there. I'm using a P89 brush to blend this out. These are just super easy brushes by Sigma. I think they were like basically buffing brushes that they came out with. And they're duo fiber, so they blend creams and liquids out super nicely. So I'm just going to blend that down, make sure I blend the cheeks upwards so I keep that line, and then blending with the Japanese sponge, which I've been obsessed with. 
blending the nose out with my fingers and the sponge just so I get a little bit more concealer on there. And then I'm adding a little bit of light medium honey just on the center of the bridge and just blending that out. I'm putting light medium honey on a little bit of the higher points of my cheeks just to kind of sculpt a little bit more. I was like concealer crazy that day. So I'm just blending that out and then I'm setting with Kat Von D's Locket setting powder which I've just loved. I have not gone back to my Laura Mercier which is like crazy because I was obsessed with that for years and the fact that this replaced it so fast it's just kind of insane. To contour or basically cover and set the contour I'm using a F23 by Sigma and just that darker shade just to kind of set everything and just sharpen things up a little bit. Again, I'm going in with the back of the blender and just blending everything out. I'm using Tipsy Blush by Tarte with an F10 by Sigma. I'm just blending that upwards towards the ears. And then I'm wiping away all the extra powder with an F37 by Sigma. You guys can tell I'm just a Sigma girl in a Sigma world. Okay. I'm taking this tiny samey brush and I'm using um, Expression and Sunder just to smoke out the lash line. I'm wiping away a little bit more extra powder. This is super important. Make sure that you wipe away all of that extra powder because it'll be seen in photos. So I just always do a little double check. Putting on some mascara. Making those lashes look super long. And then for highlight, I'm using the Winter Highlight Palette by Huda Beauty. I'm using this pink and yellow gold. And an M501 brush by Morphe. And these are just super beautiful. Putting some on my nose as well. And then I actually loved it in my inner corner. I use this little tiny Sigma brush. I will find the name for you. I don't know exactly what it is off the top of my head, but it's probably the best um, brow bone and inner corner brush I've ever used. I think it's actually a lip brush, but I've been using it as a inner corner brush for a while. For lips, I'm using Spotlight by Morphe, which is a metallic, beautiful rose color. Basically just picked it up out of my drawer and was like, this looks good. It matches nice, it's not too red, and it blends just really pretty with the whole look. And I've been loving metallic lips. Like, I've just been loving them lately. I'm sorry if my voice is going in and out, guys. To set this look, I'm using Tatcha Dewy Mist Spray, as always. And that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this Christmas cut crease. It was super, super challenging, but I'm so happy that it came out really well. I'm proud. Are you guys proud of me? Let me know by subscribing and liking this video if you haven't already. And I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.